Okay, something I want to show a little bit on organizing stuff. Um, th this is my mobile workshop trailer. You've seen it in some other videos. You'll also notice it's it's not quite as full as it used to be. I've uh, basically been kind of doing a little bit of inventory reduction since I uh, moved it to another location and figured out it wasn't really as mobile as I really had hoped it would be. And uh, and I looked, and mainly because of this toolbox right here, um, the, the thing was actually pretty close. It was a weight limit on this side of the axle. It was actually leaning pretty hard on this side between these two toolboxes. So I go through these, I sort them, and I got to look at when we do prepper stuff or mobile work, mobile workshop stuff, uh, hoarding can be the enemy of preparedness. And one of the things that I've gotten into is, let's say if I lose or misplace a tool, I, I don't, I, I'll put a time limit on what I have for fucking around to find it, and if I can't find it, I'll go buy another one, okay? Unless it's something really high-end. You, you just do a cost-benefit analysis on that, but it's based on a current economic situation, and if you really play too hard on the what-if game, uh, you, you end up hoarding a lot of stuff, which then reduces your mobility. And we, we kind of see that game a little bit in a lot of the MMO games like World of Warcraft or something like that. You know, your inventory gets full and then you can't collect more treasure, right? So a lot of times it's, it's more worth it to give stuff away and pay it forward than, let's say, to lose it to making, making bad choices on security, losing something to theft. And then it's somebody else making their choices on what your, what your inventory reduction is going to be. And usually they're smart enough to take the good shit and leave you the junk. So we don't want that happening. Uh, one of the things I'm doing here, because uh, again, it gets to be the point where when part of your prep and part of your game plan involves mobility, hoarding, hoarding can be the enemy of mobility. So I, I'm going through tools, uh, I've been sorting sockets, found a bunch of duplicates, and the duplicates go to basically a separate location. And that's where you can also get into pre-positioning supplies, whether it's at a, uh, a possible likely job site. Uh, I, I help out with some farm and ranch stuff. It gets to the point where I could start leaving tools out at the places I work regularly. It, it, they're relatively low value tools. And uh, you know I keep some of the good stuff close by. Other times I, uh, I, a lot of times I no longer carry DeWalt tools to job sites in a city or where I think there might be a security issue. I, I use the Ryobi tools for that. And uh, it's, it's because the Ryobi tools cost less money and I've, I've got less value at risk when I'm, I'm working you know, unsecured property jobs. So a little advice for the day, a little life hack. Um, if you have toolboxes for, for stuff and work slows down, Hey, it's a good time to organize your tools, uh, start moving duplicates, worn out stuff out of there. Maybe set up uh, outside boxes, loaner boxes, stuff like that. And when you really know you got that covered, liquidate some. Okay, I'm I'm probably going to be giving some of this stuff away. I've I've uh, uh, been trying to help some other guys out get going and and doing what I do, and then uh, trading stuff in and and just buying new. And remember that when you, you know, you start hoarding stuff, like, I, 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 this blade broke on me. I thought, oh, I'll re-weld it one of these days and have another blade. Eh, it's barely worth my time to fuck around with that. But what you really want to do is, you know, inventory every once in a while. Use a slow period to inventory and organize. And if you, you find yourself with too much extra stuff, you can't sell it, nobody really wants to pay for it, help somebody out. You know, give it to them. It, uh, I've been a beneficiary of that when I kind of fell on some hard times a few years ago. Now I'm, I'm kind of hooking some other people up with some stuff. And it, it does enhance things for you in opening up inventory space and, and being able to handle uh, other issues later on. So that's my little advice for the day, a little video advice. And uh, keep watching the channel. I've got some good stuff coming up. Uh, had a formatting problem with some videos I did recently so we're gonna have to redo a whole whole little series on the survival food prep but um, we'll say hi and and hopefully people are getting a lot out of the prepper conference I was uh, <clears throat> not not invited to uh, be involved with that except as a viewer but uh, 
we'll, we'll see how that goes in the future.